Hello everyone, my name is Big Hero 60 I was given the opportunity to test some of the War Within Alpha this weekend, along with a few other content creators and members of the press. I am going to be showing you the Rookery Dungeon uh, today, and we're going to be going through this in kind of like a voiceover style. I have the footage here, we're just going to watch it back, it's going to be accelerated. And we're just going to talk about a few things I liked about the dungeon, as well as, you know... Some of the mechanics, which you might see. I believe this was on normal difficulty. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> you know, I actually don't memorize the skulls, what they mean in the top right corner. We were scaled up to 80. And other than that, that's, you know, we're just kind of operating on like, you know, it's really early alpha. We don't know what's going on a lot of the time. But I do know that this dungeon itself is going to be a required dungeon in the main story uh the main story I, I was gonna say msq for any of the ff14 players or anyone like that you know campaign main story etc msq and what they're doing now is they're tying in dungeons into a more narrative state you'll find this out with a few other content i believe blizzard is releasing today and yeah it's gonna be an experiment we'll see how it goes but the dungeon itself i think has a lot to offer it's super quick quick and easy I think it'll be good for him plus and let's get started uh so i do have a few other content creators in here wochi manny uh logan and nerf warrior they were very kind and i am very appreciative of them for you know just hanging out i am playing Rhett paladin in here i am doing the uh sun what what is herald of the sun i think is the ret version of this i just call it the solar flare build because all I think of is Dragon Ball Z with the solar flare and all that, those ideas. So we run down here. This is the very start of the dungeon. There's a trash pack. You don't actually need to kill this trash pack. Now, when you're looking at M+, maybe this is good for percentage. But this trash pack is whatever. And remember, we are on accelerated speed just to get through the dungeon a little bit quicker. Uh, the Griffins are the most scary thing in the pack, as far as I'm aware right now. This is just my very first run, so maybe I missed some things, but they do a big charge. I think it's randomly targeted on someone in the party, and then they have this chain lightning. Uh, there's a few other chain lightning effects in here. I'm not sure if it's distance related. You know, it just kind of sent it as we went into this dungeon. So you clear another pack here, and the goal is to touch these chains that dissolves them, and we get on some storm griffins. Now we're going to cross here to the Rookery Landing, and this is going to be the arena for the very first boss. So you gotta clear some trash. So we're clearing trash. Uh, more of these Griffins. I believe the Griffins may charge. Yeah, so they got a charge there. They jump on some people. We get a few more. We're AOEing them down. And by the way, Rhett feels pretty dang good. I did a few other dungeons with a few other people playing Retribution Paladin. Um, I actually got, um, I have some footage, but I'm not, I'm not showing this. I ran both dungeons that are on this alpha build with Max, uh, Megaset, Bowser, and, um, so who, who was the other person I just met? Um, gosh, I, I feel so rude. It, I, you meet so many people and you're not a hundred percent who everyone is. And you, some of them are the first time, uh, their name is Tan Queen. Um, that's somebody who I haven't, uh, seen uh, on Twitch before. I haven't been watching a lot of Twitch, but uh, they were all super nice. And like, I, I don't tank, but they were really cool about me just being a pickup tank because they, they needed tanks. Um, But yeah, you know, Rhett is feeling really good. A few other people think uh, Rhett feels pretty good. I did not play the Templar build with the hammers. Uh, apparently Templar is really goaded, uh, but with the solar flare build, it, it feels kind of okay. It's hard to tell because I don't have all the heroic talents yet. Um, so this is the first boss, Kyrios. I think that's the correct pron pronunciation on it. You know, you got a Griffin boss, you charge in, there's the chain lightning. I'm not sure if you're supposed to spread a certain equidistance apart. I did not read the dungeon journal. Maybe I should have read the dungeon journal. I'm personally a fan of just winging it and going in if it's not mythic difficulty. You know, it, it, it's pretty fun to just kind of like, if you get blasted by something, you can learn by doing. And then there's this big frontal that goes about halfway across the arena. Yeah, so that was about half. And you just make sure you're not facing it as it, go across, it goes across. There's an unstable charge. I'm afflicted by a stable charge. We were like, well, if I run further out, does that, you know, do something with the damage, but still everybody got hit. Maybe it's LOS, but you know, there's not really a lot of places to do 
uh, line of sight in this room. But it pretty much evaporates. Super quick fight. There's another dash. Um, there may be a lot more mechanics on Mythic. Honestly, I hope there are, but it, it was a pretty fun boss. And then you jump down here, you got some of these feathers. You know, you gotta pick up a feather. It's like, where, whoa, there's my feather. I can barely see it. And I didn't do this on this playthrough. I was like, I don't even know what this extra action button does. I'm scared to press it, because if I could swim in it, I can just fall. But uh, what it does is if you press it, you actually turn into a giant blue orb, and then you fly directly to where it goes. See, so you can just see that on the screen there if you want to play it back. Um, it's actually really responsive and really cool when I first did it. Uh, you go into this room, there's a lot of corrupted void beasts. I think they're void related. Yeah, see, they're casting an arcing void spell. There's a few frontals. Uh, here's another pack. I will say this, this, this is off topic from the dungeon. I love the way these dwarves look and I wish my dwarf looked like them. Um, I'm hoping there's a way to make Earthen look a little bit close, but like, I mean, they have horns and stuff. They could be demon hunters if they wanted to be. All right, so we got this Rook Guard here. We're just killing it. Quick single pull. Um, also, if you're judging my gameplay, because every time I release a video, somebody's just like, look at, look at your gameplay or whatever like that, right? I am missing all my stuff. I don't have my weak auras. I've realized how reliant I am on seeing like my spells right in front of me in the middle of my screen, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. Like my guild just killed Mythic for Rock tonight. And I, you know, doing this dungeon, I felt like a fish out of water because I'm like, I'm so reliant on, on, on the weak auras in the middle of the screen uh, to keep track of things. Like even my divine toll, um, as you kind of watch it like tick down. So you like, you spend as many as much holy power before the next proc of your divine toll and stuff like that. It, it's hard for me not to have that timer there. And I just, I, I'm just winging it. And you know, it's a, it's a simple dungeon. This is not too bad. This isn't heroic or anything. But the general design of this and how quick it is, I am very much a big fan of. So you have more of the same trash. You got some lightning bolts. I'm not sure. It's really hard to tell on this lower difficulty. Rookery did not feel that bad on trash. Um, there's some trash potentially at the end, I think, on M+. That could be a little sketchy. Maybe some of this trash even. It's hard for me to really tell. Overall, this did not feel that bad getting um, through this area, though. Uh, the other dungeon, the Meadery, there is some trash in there that is kind of nasty. So higher higher keys in the Meadery, probably going to be kind of nuts. Um, that's just my initial feeling. But Rokery feels great, just super fast. I think my favorite boss in here is 100% Storm, uh, Stormguard Gorin, this guy right here. So you have some civilians rush at you. You have to kill them as soon as you step through the door. They just like turn at you and run at you. And this is Storm Guard Gorin. He does a jump, shoots out laser beams. Super quick reaction there. Um, I didn't even know that happened. Um, it's so awesome. I, I love this void stuff. I'm, I'm guessing maybe on Mythic, it's even more laser beams. That'd be pretty sick. I think that'd be pretty fun to deal with. He jumps again, more laser beams, do a quick sidestep, and then not really 100% sure on this mechanic. It looks like it spreads potentially on the closest person to uh, whoever is standing next to that circle. So I believe if you're a ranged player, you can potentially just keep baiting it outside over and over and over and not have to deal with it at all, which may be a viable strategy, but it's really hard to tell on these lower difficulties if that's going to be a thing also you know there's going to be added mechanics on mythic you uh, step through the door after killing the boss you fight this void ascendant go through here i think the void ascendant is kind of like roughly going to be a mini boss there seems to be a few skills casted there that uh might be a little rough on higher keys but uh here is where i'm worried potentially um as you get into a mythic plus scenario these radiating void stone dudes, um, they get this huge shield. So maybe I think it's embrace the void. See, when this goes on, you're taking a ton of damage. Um, and then they throw out all this on the ground. Um, there's actually a double pull up here of two of them, which is really reminiscent of the void beings, I think, potentially damage wise. Uh, in Throne of Tides, and I, I know a lot of people had a lot of issues with them, depending on, you know, if you're trying to push keys and stuff like that. 
maybe that's gone nerf since then. I, I'm usually just a big early key guy, so I get my gear for mythic rating, and then after that, I just tap out. Um, but yeah, you see they're both up on there. You know, there's ra uh, raid-wide, group-wide damage going out. They throw out all these blue circles on the ground. And uh, the goal is to just break the shield so they stop doing that. I'm curious if Shattering Throw instantly just gets rid of it. That would really make uh, Warrior uh, be in a very good position uh, in cases like that. Maybe Blood Elf, but I think they've tried to rain back on that over the years when it comes to using racials like that. I'm not 100% sure. So we're fighting. We're fighting another Void Stone. And you have to clear everything around this final boss. The final boss is going to be to the right of my camera right now. I play very much top down. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just kind of how I play. And uh, we have another Void Ascendant as well as a Radiating Void Stone on this pool. The shield goes up. We're taking group wide damage. They're throwing out more blue stuff. And then I found out that that spark ability is actually beneficial in my second run. You can actually stand on that on top of them and they all get stunned. At least I think. <laughs> I, I think that's what was happening in my second run, but I think I believe it's beneficial. This ability, if you stand on top. Of, yeah, see, they all get stunned right there. So we actually used it there. Um, so that's actually a good thing to stand in, uh, at least having the mobs in. And then we got the big boy, the Voidstone Monstrosity. And uh, I believe he has a frontal. It looks like it just targeted on the tank. He spawns some adds. Other than that, not really uh, not really sure what the mechanics are. Like you break the shield. Maybe I'll find out watching this. So there's the Oblivion Wave. It's targeted on the tank. You have Unleash Corruption. Um, this is just like a room, getting rid of the room type ability. It'll expire, and then there's stuff on the ground. And then those are the ads, the void chunks. Before they reshape, you need to kill it. So it seems like if you really want to, you could start on one side of this U, this horseshoe arena, and then just go around as you drop the voids on top of each other with uh, whoever your partner is potentially, and then that lets you conserve the arena if you really need it. Um, I'm not 100% sure how the reshapers show up. I'm just live reacting to this after having done it. But, uh, you know, I'm just running out, being a good boy. You know, you just drop it on the outside. Nobody has to deal with it that way. Um, maybe it's a little bit too much effort for the difficulty we're on. But, you know, it just, you know, good habits, good habits. And then we kill it. And that was... It, it looks like they changed the name. Scarden Monstrosity and then Voidstone Monstrosity. I didn't notice that the first time. Maybe they changed the name as we were going into Alpha, or maybe one's real and one's not. I'm actually not sure. Maybe that is actually a lore thing. And then if you want to get back to the entrance, you can take the Storm Rook. And I keep clicking, and it's not going through for some reason. Um, and then I was looking at a few other dungeons. So if you wanted to look at the other dungeons, <laughs> you can like freeze frame on that. But I'll, I'll, I'll release a video of every dungeon as it comes out as well as going through the dungeons and the raid, which uh, we have seen some information on the raid. So we're currently fl flying to the metery. That's going to be in a separate video. Let me pause this really quick. Um, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed seeing the dungeon. Um, let me know if you would rather see a dungeon with sound. I thought this would be better to do like a voiceover of the dungeon instead of having like all the game sounds going on. I'm going to be completely honest. This is early alpha, so there's no voices. Some of the sound effects aren't even there. So it's basically just going through anyway. So you're not really missing much from a um, auditory experience. But you still get the visuals. We increase the speed. So the video is a little bit sh shorter. Everybody, you know, everybody only has a certain amount of time per day. You want to get you want to get through the video. You want to like see the thing you want to see stuff like that. So let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you want more stuff like this. And I appreciate it if you watched, and I hope you have a good day. There will be more videos coming out of the Alpha as the weeks go on, as well as today. Again, thank you so much. I'll see you later.